Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Surveyor Legend 19BHLE travel trailer. This is a small bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes to walk you through the inside and outside of this little camper. Alright guys, we are now up inside this new Surveyor 19BHLE. And as you can see, we're looking toward the rear of the coach. You have two small bunks back here, up to 300 pound rating for the bunks. There's a window on each bunk. Little USB charger port back there. Curtain for each bunk to kind of give the kids a little bit of privacy. Electric outlet down there, electric box down there, also the uh, propane leak detector down there. Traditional booth dinette, has little doors on there that open up for storage. It will also go down and make into a bed. Nice large window. We're going to spin back around here and look toward the front of the coach for you. And you're seeing the parents' bedroom. So basically you have a queen bed up front, some storage underneath of there. A little shelf area on the left with a couple cup holders. Nice big window area overlooking the campsites in the front section of the coach there. Overhead cabinets. Has a little pull-down blackout shades. Over here by the entry door, there are TV hookups there on the ceiling. And that gives you an area there to mount a flat screen TV to and hooks in. And also goes over to the stereo system where you can use that radio to plug in an HDMI system and kind of play a DVD through it. It does not play DVDs, but you can plug in and shoot that over. And there are connections up there for that type of stuff. Some of your controls for your awnings and your lights and things like that up there. Single basin faucet, high rise faucet, two burner stove top, and it does have the little glass lid on it. This kind of flips up, kind of acts as a backsplash for you. Microwave down below. And you also have three drawers there, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Little furnace down below the refrigerator section there. Nice big refrigerator for an RV this size. This is an 8 cubic foot Norcold gas and electric refrigerator. A lot of small RVs only have a 6 or less cubic foot fridge. So a nice bonus on this one for that. Air conditioning in the coach. Going back here to the bathroom area, you do have a lock on the bathroom door there, so you can lock it for privacy. Foot flush toilet there. Little sink area. Medicine cabinet area. Little vent fan up there. Skylight up above the shower area. But it does have a pretty good sized shower. Bathroom is a little tight, but when you're in a camper this size, that's expected. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new models coming in. Definitely save you a lot of money there at Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. And we're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside of the camper and show you around the outside sections. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Surveyor camper. And as you can see here, we're looking toward the front section. Got a nice windshield in the front there, letting in a lot of natural light. Power tongue jack. Single 20-pound propane tank. Battery goes right there on the front. Lower diamond plate metal. Little uh, power cord holder there. 
Now this customer chose to opt in for the E2 sway hitch system by Fastway that you're seeing laying on the ground there. Has a outside gas line hookup here for a little portable grill if you wanted to do a portable grill. Also have a little pet friendly hook there to tie your dog to. Solar prep located right there. Pretty good sized storage compartment going across the front section of the camper there, along with the pet friendly bowls. Now Surveyor is an all aluminum stud body construction. So your walls, roof, floor are aluminum tube. You have fiberglass exterior with the Asdale backer on the walls instead of Lou on board. That is a huge improvement for fiberglass constructed campers. Definitely check out the Asdell on board information. Power awning here has the LED light strip in the tube instead of by the body of the coach. And you have a traditional porch light up there too. And the awning has the adjustable arms so they tilt for water runoff and stuff. You have a double entrance step going in and out of the coach. Four heavy-duty scissor jacks, one on each corner to stabilize it. The unit is a single axle unit, aluminum wheels. Got the little larger handle there going in and out of the coach, a little grab handle. Outside electric outlet there. You'll also find some more information about the Asdale stuff here on the sticker. Asdaleonboard.com. Made in the USA. Great product for an upgrade to an RV. Definitely check that out again, guys. Outdoor speakers, your vent for your refrigerator and stove located out here on this side. Black tank flush to clean out the toilet system. Furnace exhaust out here on this side. Traditional 4-inch square tube bumper. Spare tire mounted on the back. Pre-wired for backup camera. I would probably recommend the observation camera over the backup camera, though. Definitely check that out. You can use them while you're driving down the road. Ladder feature going up and down the back. LED taillights. This customer chose to order theirs with the slide-out awning cover also. So that is a nice feature there. You can see the awning up there basically helping to protect and shade that room. But it also helps shoot a lot of the water and stuff away from it on a rainy day. Outside utility shower here, hot and cold water. Another little storage compartment area under the lower bunk. Your dump area for your gray and black tank. Detachable power cord here. Cable and satellite inlets there. The slide out is also electric. So it is a Schwintech slide system. You can find information and manuals and stuff about that on Lippert's website, lci1.com. Your water heater located right there. Your fresh water fill up and your city water hookups also located right there. And don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more videos. And be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Little magnetic holders here. Informational stickers. This particular unit was built 830 of 19. This is a mid-year model change 20 version. And basically tells you your model number, VIN number, gross vehicle weight, 4,805 pounds. It's the most you can load the camper to before you risk breaking it. The tires, ST22575 R15 D range tires. Again, guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, 